multiplication problem on the CMP. Um, do you want to be my student? <laughs> <laughs> She's in the hand. She's just in front of the group. Okay, and a child would not start with multiplication, obviously, but um, we, we first start them out with addition, and um, so I'm just gonna, I'm going to do an addition problem for you guys really quick. So I'm going to take five units. Take three tens, and the child will say ten, twenty, thirty, two hundreds, so one hundred, two hundred, and six thousand. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Okay, so they've set up the quantity of their top add in. Precision is a big part of Montessori, so the needs can't be hard from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now if I have the child add a second quantity, I'm going to borrow your pen. They can put down their pencil or we have ribbons in our classroom they can put down to separate the top quantity from the bottom quantity. So I'm going to lay out seven units. These are the numbers on this card. Not this card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just numbers they would be. Yeah. Would you lay them out or would they? They would lay them out. I try to do as little as possible Or we would point to the quantity and say, so how many units do you need to lay out? And it's also tactile. This is also, you know, hand-eye coordination. So it's twofold. It's, it's understanding quantity. And this is very tedious for an adult. That's your student to do it. <laughs> they shouldn't have to take it. <laughs> they get a little older, they don't get it. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Developing concentration skills, mm -hmm. sequencing skills, order, um, which they lose in lower elementary. Binary, they have to do okay. that back. <laughs> 25. <That's my> <laughs> so I'm going to have the child add 2,347. Uh, okay, so he's going to take away the pencil or ribbon and then. Do you have them say each number before you have them add them? Do you have them say 2,400? Um, not at first, but later, yes. That's a little bit much for a, stern, a new student that's learning this. Really, we, we just want them to get friendly with the, you know, the quantities. Okay, so he's added up the amounts. Carry over. Okay. Now this problem is going to be a dynamic problem, meaning we're going to have to make an exchange. So what we have them do is search for 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I say stop. So they get in the habit of saying stop when they get to 10. Okay, now they're going to exchange. 
exchange 10 units. This is the whole borrow thing that I never got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the important thing is to pull out the 10, <laughs> and then instead of putting it down here, we have them put it up along the box. And that's a visual cue that you have made that exchange. Because if you get interrupted or someone starts talking to you, you mm -hmm. don't remember if you pulled that out of the box. Mm -hmm. So if it's up here, I go, okay, I did make that exchange. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we would count up the rest of the quantity. So. And then we would record this quantity. And we use this for subtraction, for multiplication, and division. How do you do the multiplication or division? 